I'm from St. Elizabeth, Bull Savannah specifically. I'm from a farm district. Grew up a very poor boy, one child of 10 children. And so for us, life was a struggle. A struggle for some of the basic needs of life. Norman has always been like the most caring person that anyone could ever know. The brother who looked out for everyone in the family. Norman was like father to us. As a matter of fact, when we moved to Kingston, Anna and myself, we moved to live with Norman. My dream for my family is to help each and every member of my family to become economic independent. He fall fifth in the ranking. Norman has always been the one who behaved like he is the eldest of all. He's always a go-getter. He's always the one that's saying, hey, you know, if you want good, you know how to run and pushing all of us so that we can do better. With all of that, you could see that Norman would have become what he is today. Well, Mandley is going to fight me over this, but I, I am the first employee of ARC, and I guess Manly would say the same thing, <laughs> because I start one day earlier than him, so I'm the first one. Well, I was the one who do the construction of the building. She was the office person, so she put her name first, yes, while she was the first. I physically do the electrical work myself, become an electrician. So. It's why everyone to determine who were the first, or who was it the first. still remain, I'm the first to walk in that building dressed up. Yes, dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> we started off with five of us, and we're now at over 400 employees. Friendship, man, tell me, say, some, some work are going on half manufacturing. Them say, when we can get a two-week work, we can go and help out the youth, them, you see? Came down here and thing, and say, whip of people to get a look at work, said, you understand? Know? When I call, I show me the boss and say, oh, he's Mr. Ann. Can begin some work and thing, and I show to him. Oh, hi, my boss, good morning. May I say something to you, sir? And shout out to him and ask him to get a job. I'm not in take care of my youth, and instantly he replied to me and give me a job. When we started art, we had a little square at Ashanai Road. When going into the building, we'll have to go under a little fence. The challenge that we face mostly is other companies when we just came in trying to put us out of business. And that was one of our biggest fight. In those days, um, we never have a security company. Those guys on Ashanai Road, they used to threaten us, they used to hustle us, but we overcome them and we are here today. Uncle Norman is a teacher in his own right. Whether in a meeting or one-on-one, -on -one, he's always bestowing knowledge. And being family, you're held at a higher standard. And Uncle Norman has some really high standard. The company itself, it's bigger than all of us. And because of that, you have a sense of self-purpose. And for me, it is always a privilege to feel like I'm a part of something that's bigger than me. Being around Uncle Norman for one minute can instill so much on you as a young person. For me, studying for a Bachelor of Science in Logistics and Supply Chain Management, being here at ARCIT has given me the opportunity to work in so many fields. Norman is this um, type of person who hardly makes mistakes. And if there's a problem, Norman knows how to solve it. When I think of Mr. Horan, I think of that one black true success story. It is a story that I am proud to tell again and again and again. He is a family-oriented person. Despite of how busy he is, he is at every family function. He has instilled values in me in which cannot be taught by anyone else. By sticking together as a family and pushing and working hard, that's one of the things that um, help us and remembering where we're coming from as black people and poor people and decide that nothing gonna phase us and we are gonna push and push to make sure we can achieve what we set out to do. We respect his drive and discipline to make Arc Manufacturing a leader in the building material industry. I walk with pride the bottom of my stomach now. You understand me? Police normally, cowboy to stop me and lock me up. I have not do nothing at the time, I slap me up in the jail. I have not seen it in the ounce beer. Give me lunch and 11.30, tell me when the police can't let me. I'm not having there. 
see me half a chief on a bus, I go, you know, I try looking for 2010 and police stop the bus and say them find something on the bus. Okay, so the bus look at half a tree jail, half a tree station. So everybody come on the bus and go half a tree station, okay? Then cowboys, everybody come out the bus. And woman go one side, a man go one side and he start checking my where I'm coming from. I'm calling rich at me and I tell her, straight jail, three weeks that. You understand me? So I come out and I beg God and say, mighty God. Mighty God, I can't go on the road like this, I beg you to work with the mighty God. It's up and down, but I beg you to work with the mighty God. You know, you yeah, they're hungry and they're not food. So I beg you a permanent job, my dear. Help me take care of you them. Okay, and been to Oxys in a minute to get the job. I have every intention to make my contribution to social development and economic development in the commercial space. And therefore, you know, we have created some factories which provide import substitution, developed some generic products. We employed a number of persons and we're making an impact in this area. Congratulations, Uncle Arman, and I love you. Congratulations on this most outstanding achievement. You are most deserving, and I love you. Give thanks, my boss. God bless you. Love you from my heart, and everything all right. I can say Norman is my best friend, and I just want to wish you all the best. I'm so proud of you and you are well deserving of this award and I love you my brother. We love you Uncle Norman, congratulations again. I think you more than deserve this award. This is something that you know you should have have maybe 10 years ago. I want to wish for you all the best and continue to be there for us. My dream for Jamaica is to first become an emerging economy and then a first world economy. I believe that we have all the right environment to achieve this, but we have been lacking in leadership in many different aspects. And therefore, my singular contribution is towards Jamaica becoming a first world country. That's a legacy I'd like to leave behind, not only for my children, but for young Jamaicans to come.